Today we will talk about what is cron, what is it and how can we use it. As I mentioned before, we can run this task not just manually by clicking the button, but on some schedule. For example, we need to run this task every 5 minutes to get some data from uh, Git or uh, we want to run some huge task, for example, end-to-end -end tests once in, at midnight, in midnight. Let's check our task, let's open our second job, let's configure it. And with build triggers we can see that we can run it periodically. So let's see this question mark and um, find out what is it. So here we need to put our cron expression. It's a special line which shows how often we should run our job. For example, we have asterisk, it's a special symbol which uh, show every minute it specifies all valid values so here we can run such command with five asterisks and the first one it will mean minutes we can run it from 0 to 59 minutes so we can run it each minute the second one it's a hour of a day then it's a day of a month months and the day of a week so for example in our case it will run each minute, each hour, each day, and each month, and each day of a month, of a week. So in our case, this task will be run every minute. And also, we can specify specific date or time. It can be run each minute. And additionally, we have a few other symbols such as divide. Uh, it means that we can run it on each third minute. It will be on three, six, nine. Or we can set just specific value, for example, it's a zero, it means it's uh, at zero, zero minute and zero hour every day of week, every day of month. So here we can see what does it mean again that each asterisk is uh, part of our expression and uh, here we have a few options. Uh, we can run every five minutes, it means that every five minutes, every day, every hour, run this expression, we can write every two hours at the top of the hour Monday through Friday. Additionally, we can write uh, our any task at the midnight uh, on the 1st, 10th and 15th of dates of a month. And uh, we have special words such as midnight that uh, it will run our task somewhere between 12 a.m. and uh, 2.59 a.m. Okay, additionally, to learn more about CronTab, I would recommend you open CronTab Guru. It's a great resource which uh, describes when your task will be run. You can test everything what you need. For example, HITS is a human version of your schedule, so you can change it as you want. And uh, it will show you when your task will be scheduled the next run. So here's a lot of options and you can see how it works it's a great option so let's edit let's run our schedule and uh, after one minute we will see how it works okay after a minute we can open our second job and uh, here we can see that the last bill was nine seconds ago let's open it and uh, so we can see that it was run exactly at 8 37 zero zero and it was started by timer if we will open our previous build we will see that it was started by upstream project hello world this one is run by timer let's open it again and uh, for build triggers we can add the poll from source control management system and here we can we will add the same syntaxes the same cron expression and uh, it means that it should uh, check our git for example every five minutes and if there are new commits it should run uh, our task so we can save it but it won't work because uh, i didn't configure git right now and that's it